today I'll be talking about how I turned a shoebox into an arcade stick. Let's get right into it. So I began this process with a shoebox, of course. This box is from a pair of shoes I bought some time ago. Then I used my old plexi panel from my Quamba Pro as a template to mark the holes for the buttons. I then marked the holes. Alright, this part may make me look like a caveman. I didn't know or have the proper equipment to punch out a hole, so I used a screwdriver to get each mark spot started by stabbing them. After I stabbed them, I took my brother's Dremel and prepared for the next step. Once I'm ready, I begin to carve out a bigger hole with the Dremel. The first couple of holes I made looked pretty messed up. It's not shown on screen, but I tested the holes to see if they fit, and they did. I continued making the other holes. I was trying my hardest to make them in good shape. Once I finished, I reviewed the shapes, and as expected, they came out pretty deformed. I cleaned and removed all the scraps on the box and began to test fit the buttons. Surprisingly, they fit. Some better than others, but they fit. I had a bit of trouble with the square button though. You can see it's very loose, so loose that it takes no effort to take out. Not shown here, but I fixed that issue by putting the tabs horizontal rather than vertical. But they're in there, not locked in, but they're secure enough. Here I'm just making sure that the joystick hole has enough clearance. And it does. On to the next step. Take it away, Raw Audio Martin. Got the, got the parts. Take it one by one. Okay. So this is uh, okay. Okay, I see. We're gonna open that up too. Twenty pin connector, I believe. And USB A to B or whatever. A to B, yeah. So what we have here is a Brook Zero Pi board plus all the cables and hardware for the rest of the project. So I'm gonna take this Hori joystick, this Hori Hayabusa, and we're gonna go ahead and mount it. So I'm just gonna secure the first three. Because I made the, the last hole, the fourth one, kind of large. So we have it. And then with that, so all I need to do get these little nuts just spin them on the first thing you'll find like the right thing doesn't matter if it goes on properly or not right now because I don't really give a crap about this thick we could tighten it again right now I need to secure it 
just be able to uh, actually hold it. Just gonna screw it on. Which is cool. That's cool. After I got the joystick mounted, I began to sort through the wires and hook them up. This process was pretty lengthy, so I'm not going to show you all of it and bore you with footage of me hooking up the buttons. If you're doing this, it probably might not take as long. It only took me a while because I really wanted to make sure that the connectors were on there securely. So, if you look under here, there's a mess. There's a mess right here. Everything's connected. At least the main buttons and the stick. Um, I still need the start and select and whatever. So I still need some buttons for this one and I need the L3, R3 buttons for this one. And uh, those are still coming through the mail yet. They haven't come to my, they haven't been delivered yet. So um, I'm just gonna wait on those. Those are expected to come on Monday. So I'll come back on Monday and um, we'll finish whatever else I need to do. Um, and I also need to get it prepared for the holes. I need to figure out a place where I'm gonna put like the home and the start select buttons. So I'm gonna do some more um, hole punching. So I'll follow it up on Monday. So after another week, I was able to get the last couple of parts I needed and I finalized the stick. As you can see, I added the menu buttons to the front. It looks pretty horrendous, but it has full functionality. The power cable, or in this case, a power port, is located on the back, where the USB A to B connects to. It's basically a quick disconnect power cable. Time for a look inside. Here it is. It looks pretty messy, but everything works, which is the most important part. Now let's show footage of it being in use. Yep, that works. So within two weeks, I was able to make an arcade stick out of a shoebox. I won't actively play on this because, well, it's a shoebox. It's not the strongest thing on the planet. In the future, I'll design a new case for the stick and actually make it well built. This was a fun little project and a great learning experience. If you want to do something like this yourself, I'll drop links to all the things I bought for this project. So uh, thank you for watching this long video and um, until the next one.
Thank you.